Shiva Shalawam. First, I'd like to give all praises unto Yahweh, Ba Sham Yahweh Shai, and double honors unto the apostles and elders, a great millstone, and honors to you brothers out there in the highways and the byways, teaching this word in all sincerity and in truth. Okay, um, we're down there live from the Emporia, Im Imperial War Museum, which is right behind us. You know, this is the second time I've been here, but the, the brother with me, the past ain't been there before, so before we come down here, um, check out some of the exhibits. Shit's popping off in London right now. You had a uh, shooting outside the House of Parliament. You know, they're, they're only now just coming out with um, detail. We don't know what's happening. It could be a false flag, could be, could be a real, you know, whatever it is. We all know they're going to spin it and utilize it for their agenda. The helicopters are out in force. You know what I'm saying? There's another helicopter over there right now. You know, there's all kind of sirens going off, so they're on high alert. So we're just going to bring it out. But the main reason we're doing this live show is because we were going in there, going through the different exhibits, going into World War One, going into World War Two, and, um, you know, various things in the different exhibits, man. And um, the biggest exhibit in there, which sort of probably would agree with me, is the Holocaust exhibit, man. Okay. Okay, it's, it's fucking crazy, man. It's like a, a maze of misinformation, man. And um, basically, they set it up to to uh, victimize the so-called Jew, when they're the ones behind everything, man. They're, they're the elites, okay? The elites that rule, rule this world, they go by the, the name of being a so-called Jew, the Rothschilds, the Rockefellers, or the, the House of Sachs called um, Gopher. Okay, they're behind that. They're the ones that set up the World War One, set up World War Two, and they're in the midst of setting up World War Three. They're not. They they even oppress their own people, man. The rest of Edom. Okay, and they're not the real Jews. All right, the real Jews are you so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native American Indians, man. And we were listening to one eyewitness uh, in there, and she was saying, "Oh, the Germans did this and that to the children. The German pulled pulled their hair. How can you do that to a child?" Well, first of all, you, you so-called Jews, you, you were one of the main uh, um, profiteers of this, the Atlantic slave trade, man. Now, how many atrocities were committed against the children of Israel, man? And when I say the children of Israel, I'm speaking about the little ones, man. How many little ones were on those slave ships, man, were sold into slavery, man? Fed to alligators, man. You, you were the heads of all that. You talking about how could someone be so cruel when you've done worse? Over, over decades, over centuries, man. But no one cares about that. Everyone wants to, that's why you can't say nothing against a so-called Jew, because as soon as you say something against a so-called Jew, they bring up the Holocaust, and you're supposed to bow down and, you know, uh, okay, you can't say nothing against them, man. They're the devil, man. They're the, they're the, the, the chief house of Satan. In fact, hey, bro, you got a lock on this? 5533. What? what is it? 5533. Five, five, you know you're gonna have to change that now. <laughs> 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 right, we're going to get the um, Revelations 2 and 9, it says, I know thy works and tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich, and I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. Now, that's twofold. On one hand, that's talking about actual Israelites of the seed of Israel, but they weren't, they weren't um, carrying themselves as Israelites, meaning they were unfaithful. So the Lord said, the Lord said, um, look man, you you of the devil, okay? But that also goes into actual Edomites, these Edomites who are calling themselves Jews, but they're not Jews. They're, they're not of the seed of Israel, neither they, do they follow the true teachings of Israel, ne neither do they have the faith of Yahweh Shem Yahushai. You're really Amalekites, you are Khazarian dogs that are, uh, 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 what do they call it, um, converted to Judaism in 740 AD on the Kagan Bullen. Okay, you're really Amalekites, man. And guess what? The scripture says this, man. All right? The Lord's got a bone to pick with you. See, the Lord ain't with that all that victimization crap. The Lord ain't gonna say, you know what, man? I ain't gonna touch Amalek because of the, because of some Holocaust that if you do your research, you find out it never happened, man. You know, if you do your research, you find out that the Holocaust was nothing but more than war propaganda. All right? And the Germans are waking up to that. Which they're Edomites too, but even they are waking up. They're more and more waking up to the fact that hold on, we got we got fucked over here. That Holocaust shit didn't happen, and we've been paid for that shit. Okay, so they're being oppressed by their own people. Okay, this is our uh, Deuteronomy. Uh, 
man. You just get straight to the point, man. Ex uh, well, I'll get the one in Exodus. It's more to the point. Exodus 17 and 16. For he said, Because the Lord have sworn that the Lord will have war with Amalek from generation to generation. So you, you have talking about Hitler. And guess what? The heavenly father himself, Yahweh Shem Shai, has a bone to pick with you Amalekites, man. You're not Jews. You're not Israelis. Okay? You're Amalekites, man. And the Lord's got a bone to pick with you from generation to generation. So that means even unto this very day, man. And you're going to pay, man. The chief house of Esau, you're going to pay, man. Okay? And your little, your little propaganda stunts ain't going to stop the judgment of, of the Lord from coming down on you, man. You can do what you want, man. You can push out what you want in the media, man. The truth is going to consume you, man. Okay? Your Howard Shai is going to return. What are you going to do then? What are you going to do? All right? Anyway, best that we get out of here, man, because it's getting hot out here. You know, but for the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Shai, we're going to be all right. But hey, Shalom, Akim, man. To hell with these devils, man. Shalom. Let's get out of here, man. Do you want to close that with us? Yeah.